all I can say is wow. Uh, I've spent an hour and a half pulling this wire harness out, and I'm not even done. Uh, it was, for starters, the alternator had to be taken off because they ran the wires from the alternator through the motor mount down to the bottom of the engine. They had a 17 millimeter bolt on the back of the head, which normally it's a 15 millimeter. Cam position sensor, the map sensor took off, <clears throat> pulled all the wires out, and the wires literally were wrapped completely around both of the heater hoses here. And you can see this is still, this is on the wrong, the fuel line's on the wrong side of the heater hoses. So anyway, so that's all wrapped together, tied up. And then these are his fuel lines here. And it was literally, it was fed up through this fender well hole down there. Up through here, I had to pull all that out. Half of this is not even connected to anything at all. I have no idea yet. This power wire plugs into that up on the firewall. I don't know if that's a starter relay or not. Uh, anyway, I still got that. We're getting to the best part. So here's the fuse panel. And it was bolted down there in the bottom. That it's it's all wrapped in and tied into all this, which is part of the headlights, which is part of something else. It goes up into this fender well here. It goes up in through there, down through there, and then it goes through the firewall. I haven't even got into there yet. So, and all these were all just tucked up underneath the brake booster. But here's the cool part: they take a really really simple LS1 harness where factory computer is mounted up there. It runs across the engine and basically down across the engine and down to the alternator. And then up to the, like a, a relay bank here and then over to the cooling fans. So what they did was they added some wires to it. So I'll have to measure this to see exactly how long it is. So this, this portion is the, for the cooling fans. Goes down to um, factor PCM connectors, loops back around, comes over, goes through all this stuff. And it's electrical tape and a gooey mess through all the rest of that. So that's probably, I don't know, 10 feet long at least, plus what's still left in the car. I'm surrounded by morons who do wiring on these cars. It just, it just boggles the mind.